how's everybody doing? Uh, I just wanted to say hello. And uh, I'm still indoors. The weather is not all that good in the US here. So I've been working the whole day. So I decided to uh, come down the basement, to try to do some uh, treadmill. Uh, usually there's, there isn't much to do when it's cold like this. And uh, if you can't watch yourself, sometimes you keep on eating. And uh, before you know it, uh, you will find, uh, you know, you are out of shape. So I decided to come and work a little bit. So stay with me and uh, I'm going to do for a few minutes to show you what you can do if... So I do have a, a treadmill in my basement and I said why don't I go and work for a few minutes uh, because I am on a break. And uh, it's usually very difficult to uh, work outside because it's really a little chilly and you cannot, cannot do much. So this is the life. For those of you who are going to travel from uh, different countries, for example, African continent, we do not have this kind of weather. We are not used. So even right now, this is why, uh, believe it or not, I'm inside and I'm wearing, I'm wearing a hoodie. Because it's cold, basements are cold, but uh, that's the way it is. So if you are planning to come from, um, let's say, Africa, and the climate there is very good, you need to get prepared. But first thing, uh, you need to do research so you can find out those um, uh, states. Uh, where it don't, doesn't snow much. If you want it to, if you're not a fan of a cold season, then you don't want to go to that state. But for some reasons, if you enjoy, then you can um, find and pinpoint out those uh, states where you wanna go and enjoy staying. But overall, this time is very cold, almost every state. So you have to dress warm. You are limited to outside activities. Uh, I would say until, uh, until late next month, early April is when you can get out and, you know, if you wanted to do something outside, like a walk at the park, there's a park somewhere where I usually walk. I can't wait until I start going out there and start walking. But other than that, you can't complain. Most people are very busy. Uh, some are working from their homes. Actually, since the, the, the COVID-19, most, most people work from home because most people closed offices. And uh, you use computer phone, work from home, talk to the customers, and uh, offer services through the phone and the computer. And uh, you get paid to do your services. And that's the lifestyle. So if you are migrating from uh, the other side of the, 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 the continent, want to come to the US and you want to do what you love, your passion, you have so many choices uh, to, pick a, to pick up where you can go and uh, work. 
you want to, if you want to, a student, you want to go to college. There's so many colleges. You got to do your research and find which colleges. What do you want to pursue? There's some so many colleges which offer scholarships. They offer grants, but you have to find out if you qualify. And that's the assignment you need to do before you arrive in the United States. So let nobody uh, try to tell you, like, uh, deceive you, like, there are no opportunities. There are a lot of uh, tons and tons of uh, opportunities uh, which, if you want to let your, your dream come true, you got to be serious and uh, do your homework properly. So the time is now. You have to do your homework before you come. And uh, be smart, you know, when you start working, you start making your money, uh, budget your money properly, prioritize things which you have to do. And uh, remember back home where you came from, you're the only one who knows the way you live the situation in your home, back in your country. And uh, there are so many uh, things you can invest in, both back home and here, if you're a business person. For example, in Africa, Kenya, you can do real estate. The US, you can do trucking. And uh, if, for example, you're a teacher, you can come up with a school in Africa, do a boarding school, put kids there, you know, furnish the, the, the school, hire, you know, nice teachers. And uh, work hard if your school, you know, excels in exams, then a lot of people will be interested. In, for example, you know, helping you out with your stuff. So that's pretty much what I came to do, basement down here. A little bit noisy, but uh, you kind of get the point. So this exercise makes me sweat a little bit. Go we'll get a nice shower. Get my chai. Uh, drink chai and then uh, relax. Watch TV. And by the way, on Sunday we have Super Bowl. It's coming this Sunday. We have the Kansas City Chiefs. They're gonna be playing against the San Francisco 49ers. I don't know who you're supporting, but it's going to be a huge cloud uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've seen a lot of commercial, big commercials, big artists, they are going to be there, celebrities, and a lot of things. So that's an opportunity. You know, we don't have anything to do this weekend. You can sit somewhere with friends, you know, enjoy, get together, enjoy, watch, watch the watch the game. And by the way, it's going to be on Sunday when uh, most people are not working on Sunday. Not unless you have to work. So relax and uh, let me know who you're supporting <laughs> below this video. Are you for the Kansas City Chiefs or? you for uh, San Francisco 49 ers I don't even know why they call it 49ers, <laughs> but uh, it's something to think about it. So I wish you all the best guys. I'll be watching this weekend and uh, let me know what you think. But before you leave guys, if you are new to this channel, it's your first time, 
please don't leave without subscribing share like our channel and also turn your notification on every time we do this video you'll be definitely notified I, i'm kind of doing open content right now and uh, so i'm trying to you know to cover all areas and do anything which can impact the community versus doing a specific content so anything from tracking insurance immigration education you know anything jobs real estate investment back home investment here in the u.s and stuff like that so thank you so much guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know what you think and uh, hopefully i will see you in the next video that's my time bye bye